The greatest thing I love about my show is when I have uh, reoccurring guests come back onto the show and seeing what's happened between last time I interviewed them and the time now and all the different things that you know pass through our lives. So many things pass through our lives, even the people not in show business, just everyday people. We all live such a, an incredible, wonderful life. I just want to make sure that all of you out there appreciate your life, love your life, and love your every day. And Marilyn O'Leary is one of them. Um, you actually, you're very, um, you're, you're very outgoing. You're very, you're, you're out there. You're always living the life. Thank you. And I love yes. that. You're always yes, at all yes, the yes. functions. You, you, you yep. always sort of, you're always helping somebody and doing something. How are you? Well, I'm doing really well, thank yeah, you. Well, that's good. Better now that I'm back on the non-show. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? And she's got all the bling on. We've obviously both got the uh, we, we got both the got memo. the memo. We have the memo. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not as sparkly as with the memo as well, you are. Awesome. Now, the reason you're sparkly is because you are actually with a, a girlfriend of yours, a friend of yours. Very yeah, dear friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and she does the bling. She does. That's Jewel Bailey. Yes. Jewel Bailey. And, and she, she loves doing one-on-one. -on -one. Meaning, rather than doing production work, which she has done in the past, yes. it's grueling and it just takes a lot out of her. And she would rather work one-on-one -on -one out of her beautiful home. Yeah. And she did all of this. We bought the, the blouse by itself and she put all, these are Swarovski crystals. She put she all, did all this. she did all of this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Well, she has, she's very creative, isn't she? She did my she? earrings, or Swarovski, but she didn't do that. She didn't do the earrings. <laughs> But anyway, she's a, a tremendous talent, and she's been in Vegas for years and years. And you love what she's doing. Well, I she, do. You love the bling, don't you? I do, and I'm, I'm learning to do it. I'm, I'm a little bit on a curve now, but I'm learning to design and working with her, and I'll be doing my own things. Then. How wonderful. But just so she's given you that opportunity to do that. That's right. It's yep. amazing. That's right. Now, you she's were given incredible a... incredible human a, being. A, Marilyn mm -hmm. is very well known, and if you don't know... She is one of the greatest singers in town, Thank number you, one. Donna. Number Thank two, you. <laughs> she sings the national anthem that you've never heard before. Absolutely beautiful when you Thank do you. that. Proud but you it. also were with Dean Martin and his group. That's right. I started out at 19. I was discovered in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. How did they yeah. discover you? Well, I, I was working as a receptionist, and I read an article in the paper, and I thought, well, I saw a friend of mine that I'd gone to school with on the show, and I, I said to my mom, if she can do it, I can do, do it. <laughs> I and love so, it. <laughs> so one day after work, I went out there, and they were auditioning like from five until eight or something. And uh, at Patrick Swayze's mother's dance studio in Houston, North Houston. And so it was myself and about three other, three hundred other women, and they three hundred at least. Wow. Oh yeah. And we danced. We danced to Celebration. Come on. And uh, <laughs> and then I. Did you remember it? I did. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and then I sang Jim Webb's. This time we almost made the pieces fit, oh, didn't we? Didn't I sang that. And uh, they said, "Okay, everybody can leave, but these five girls can stay." Yes. And, and I, you were I one was, of the five? I was one of the five. Oh, my goodness. And you know how I found out about it was I read an article in the paper. Marge Crumbaker had written about it, and I thought, oh, my God, this is, this is insane. Next thing you know, the phone rings, and it's Burbank. It's Janet Ty saying, Marilyn, we want you, we're going to fly you to Burbank, and we're going to see what the camera thinks about you. So they put me in front of the camera at NBC with this little tiny leotard on, and I mean tiny, and I think I was... Uh, weighed about 115, 116 one, or something. Yeah, probably. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bone, bone thin. And uh, G Greg Garrison comes up to me and he says, Marilyn, the camera loves you. <gasps> Would you like to be one of the gold diggers? And I said, absolutely. Yay. Yeah, so this is kind of how you started your That's, career. Uh -huh. And she then. started her career on top as a gold <laughs> digger. But did you know you had this beautiful voice? Uh, you know, I, I knew that the voice was growing at 19, you know. I used yeah. to play the pipe organ. That's what I was doing before at our church, the Aeolian Skinner pipe organ. And I thought, well, I had to make a decision between the voice the pipe, and the, the pipe organ and or the, the voice. And the voice. Yeah. So I joined the adult choir at 14. So that, wow. that spoke volumes. And I started doing solos at the church when I was about so 16. So when you arrived in Burbank, I mean, you're only 19 years old, I very singing, nervous. I was, and yeah, I, early I was studying opera, yeah. and uh, that was my first love, really. But I thought, national TV, how can I sing well, Whatever that, they want, I'll you know. sing. Yeah. So uh, I just, uh, at that point, I was with them for three years. We toured. I went with Bob Hope in 1970. 
Ta-da! I love Bob Hope. Yeah. I and, knew him um, very, very well. Fabulous yep. man. Fabulous and, uh, and, uh, man. Uh, he was such an angel, and we, we remained friends for, for 20 years after that. What a wonderful man. You know who I also admired was his wife. Dolores, I never had the honor of meeting her. Oh, but I, I met had her many times, and she yep. was absolutely lovely. Yep. She was very calm. Very she always calm. kept herself behind the scenes. Yeah, she bit distanced though, her. Though she was yeah. always there, right. and he always respected that. Yeah. And uh, they were married for many, many years. Well, you know, you being know. a singer, Bob Hope loves singing, and he just sort of adopted me, and I, I've been in his home. I saw his closet that went for miles, that had all of his jokes. This is Marilyn. Behind this door is my life. Wow. And I got to meet his two beautiful white Alaskan Malamuth, I guess. I beautiful guess, I dogs. I don't know. And, um, yeah, yeah. So I, what did Bob Hope, did, um, mm -hmm. did, well, first of all, you were with, um, with the gold diggers. Yeah. And, how, and how was that? Was that teaching you the ropes and teaching you? Oh, and yeah. I got to talk to and, and meet Jimmy Stewart. He was in the rehearsal hall when we were putting together with Lee Hale, putting our music together. Yeah. And he was just sitting there, you know, at the piano, and I went over and sat down beside him, and I said, boy, this is really special to be sitting <laughs> next to a legend. Amazing. And we talked, and he said, well, I, I guess I better leave now if you're going to sing. And I said, you stay, you stay right, right there. <laughs> you don't go <laughs> anywhere. How and sweet. he sat right there and listened to us rehearse. Oh, how incredible. I got to meet Dom DeLuise and Ruth Buzzy. Laugh-In was filming right next door. Oh, laugh -in. Remember laugh -in? Right next door. Oh, there's a little cubicle yeah, and yeah, things, yeah. and they'd yep. see the heads of them. Oh, yeah. They would do, did yeah. you ever do any of that? No. No, no, no. no, so, no. But they were uh, filming right next door at NBC. So after the Gold Diggers, what, what, what did you do after that? Well, I went with Bob Hope. and yes. that, was, that was 11 days around the world. And then when we came back, we were sent out in the Midwest uh, on a huge tour. And we wound up in at the Elizabethan in uh, Quebec, Canada, and that's we opened there. We were the featured act. We opened here for Johnny Mathis at Caesars. Yeah. We opened in Chicago for uh, Tony Bennett, and uh, oh my goodness, um, all these celebrities. We we just we went we did a lot of celebrity pizza after celebrity after celebrity. Yeah. So you had the most. Um, you had a very unusual um, sort of teenage I, Yeah, I, didn't, I really didn't have much of a... Well, I was 19. You but know. 19, but you're still sort of going into the business and, yeah. and going straight into the top. Yeah, so yeah. you didn't have to really try to work. Did you realize that you had that sort of talent? No, no. I've never, I've never so been that was somebody that else, somebody else recognized it. Uh -huh, yeah. Well, and also they were looking... The type of girl they were looking for was the girl next door. That's what well, they were looking for. Well, how call you the girl next door? <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, well, yeah, that's, that's actually what they were But you probably also, for. you know, you're very, it doesn't mean to say the girl next door can't be pretty and looking lovely, mm -hmm. but at the same mm -hmm. time, you were very young and you were, and you didn't, you weren't spoiled by the business. Right. So that's you were right. still very natural, and that's yeah. what they were looking for. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. with all that and everything, and Bob Hope was the most amazing man. I got to meet him many, he many times. He was so and, wonderful. And his wife and... Um, Actually, you know, the, the whole thing is it's amazing. He was very, very... What did he teach you that you can remember that, that, that sort of really sort of... Thought, God, I can remember what he just, you know, taught me. Well, we had dinner several times to the Brown Derby. And, uh, oh, the Brown was, Derby! I was, living in, I was living in Hollywood, on Hollywood Boulevard at La Brea. And do you know who my neighbors were? No. Clean Stevenson and Shelley Winters. Oh, my goodness. Yeah! But he taught, he taught me that, that having an, a genuine talent was was very special and that I should carry forward what I had learned with Dean Martin yes. and the girls yes. and what I had learned on tour with Lola Falana and Johnny Binge and Jennifer Hostin, Miss World, Gloria you know, how Loring. Many people, how many people in this world can really say that they've worked and been with all these people? It's true. I mean, and Gloria must be here. I think she lives here now. Who? Uh, Gloria Loring. Oh, really? The Alan Thicke. Yes, know, the, yes. Um, and, uh, and Janet Ty lives here now. Lives. She's 80 something, but um, hi, Janet. She See, lives here. See, that's the problem. The age has come up, but then that yeah. doesn't really matter because no. age is just no. a number. You know, we're all going to reach it. We can't help getting older because that's, that's just. That's true. That's just, just, just enjoy it. Well, I'm 71, and, and when I won the Miss Senior Nevada. 71? Yeah. Well, I won the Miss Senior Nevada pageant in, uh, in 2010, and uh, my mantra was age is just a number. It is. Get I, on I with believe it. it. Get I, on it, with it. Get use, on with it. Don't worry use, about it. Uh, keep your health. 
you know, but be also, smart. Yeah, be, be so, and, and also do something. You're doing something. You're saying, and you're even telling be everybody active. out there you're 71. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, there's nothing you can do about it, and that's what you are. That's right. Being 71, well, this was 2016, uh -huh. you got the uh, Veterans of America presented an award of supporting the troops. Yep. Um, okay. She got this award for supporting the troops, and she supported the troops many, many times. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yes. I sang for this event, as a matter of fact. It was in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Really? Uh -huh. And I sang, I opened with the national anthem. Yeah, well, when you sing the I national <laughs> can you give me two couple of bars of it? Uh, sure. Go uh, ahead, give me a couple. Mm -hmm. Well, it's on YouTube, by the way. Um, <laughs> mm. uh, let's see. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Well, if anybody... <laughs> yes! Thank you. Everybody's Thank clapping you. and cheering for her. <laughs> that was amazing. You hit that note. And I know you're just getting over a cold or something. I don't know how you hit that note. But it's absolutely. a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> um, no wonder you got this award. You deserve Thank you. it. You deserve Thank you. it. You know so much of what you do and out there. You. Um, now you've got into the jewelry business. What's your next thing you're going to do? Well, your accomplishment? Well, coming up, let me see. Coming up on um, February 9th, uh, Eileen Hayes is a lady here that has been in show business for a very long time. She's an opera singer. And um, she's doing a special event on February 9th, Sunday. It's called Honoring the Southern Nevada Musical Arts Society. And the preface behind that is arts, our arts, there are several different groups in Nevada and it's time that we all came together oh, and supported uh, one another and Absolutely. promoted one another. I love that. I yeah, love yeah. that. That's and, the idea of this show. And this is the uh, Southern Nevada Musical Arts. It's a new entity. And uh, the idea is to um, have exhibits and uh, promotion and we're going to have a reception at Sunday at 11.30. I hope you can make it. Oh, I will. I'll be there. Did you get the invitation? No, not yet, but that's all right. Well, just she send sent you an invite. Well, I'll tell her to call sure. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, also, there's going to be a raffle and a live auction. So the tickets are $95 a person, but it's tax deductible, and it's going to such a wonderful cause. I'm going to sing... Um, can't help loving that man from Showboat. Can't help and loving that man. That's nice. right. <laughs> and then no, I'm gonna <laughs> see how it's like. No wonder you get all these parts and you do all this. Thank She's you. such a happy. Um, she just Thank loves you. well. You just love living. Don't I you? love life. I do. You do. I do. You I love do. life. You I absolutely do. love life. And the other thing I'm going to sing, which is a very gorgeous song, which is never done. Michael Ball does a tremendous. Tremendous interpretation. Love changes everything. Well, love from, does. From the, a, from the Aspects of Love by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Gorgeous oh, piece. Amazing. If you have a chance, go to YouTube and type in Michael Ball sings Love Changes Everything. Isn't that wonderful? But love does. And yeah. love comes in different forms, so it doesn't have to always be in love. Many it can forms. be loving your dog, your cat, I was just your say. birds. Oh, she yeah. has a couple of birds. And <laughs> no, she has a I have one. Oh, I should have bought a picture. Bird. Seems like he's, a hundred. He's, <laughs> he's an Indian ringneck, and he's he's opaline turquoise, and he is. He's so, all in turquoise. His feathers are all turquoise. He's so adorable. You know, I taught him a ring, a, a phone, a, a cell phone ring tone called. Uh, well, uh, anyway, it, he says, "E Juanito, make me a burrito." He says that. Yeah. <laughs> and then he says, "Get the poopy." When I'm vacuuming his his cage, and all he says, "Get the poopy, mommy. Get the poopy." <laughs> <laughs> and you told him to say I all did, I did. Well, he picked up Get the Poopy on his own. He because picked that up? Oh, because you said, you kept saying it and picking I, your poopy up. Yeah. <laughs> we have two Shih Tzus. They're sisters, and one of them is litter box trained, you know, and the other one is not. So, in the evenings, I'll say, honey, there's poopy in the box. Can you get it, please? And the bird just sort of saying, hey, get the poopy. <laughs> Well, Can you anyway. imagine living in her house? It must be amazing. That's but you also amazing. have a, a husband, too. I do, Ken Baker. Ken Baker. Yeah, yeah, he used to work for a form of the CIA, but, but when he retired, he was designing the systems for the Predator. He's, wow. he's really got the, mm, the yeah. gray stuff. <laughs> 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 he's got more, too. I mean, yeah, more than that. But uh, he loves animals. I'm an animal advocate, and uh, 
my mother said, you better marry this man. Yeah. If you don't, you're nuts. He loves you. He loves your dogs and your oh, birds. He, you know, if you ever meet him, he brings out these photographs. Very he gets his phone, and all you see is these photographs <laughs> of Marilyn. I mean, they're gorgeous, and they're wonderful. Oh, but yes, you. he really loves you. But yes, you, you truly blessed. have had, well, you've had a blessed life. I have. But I think I sure the have. reason she's had a blessed life is because she's been in the right place of the way she thinks and how she does things. Positive. And also positive. positive. But you also give a lot back. I try. I she do. She gives a lot back. So she gives a lot of, you know, when somebody wants to sing or something, she'll go in there and say, I'll sing it for, like for the vet, she does this all for nothing. She'll go in there, sing the national anthem, and really sort of make it glow and make it open and absolutely wonderful. Guess what? I'm also singing with the Las Vegas Master, or uh, Mass Chorus, Mass Chorale. It's a it's a, a choir made up of gospel singers. They're they're well, some of the most wonderful. wonderful black people you ever want to know. I just feel like that. that and you're there singing with them. I am. Like, oh, how I love that. We do that. the most fabulous music. We dance and move when we sing and we clap. Well, you would love that because, because you're a dancer yeah. and everything. So yeah. you're in your element. It's absolutely. <laughs> Abs and hi, Victoria. <laughs> I think Victoria is our president. I think Marilyn is always in her element. She's <laughs> just an amazing woman. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming back on the show. My pleasure, what she sweetheart. Does is wonderful. We shall be right she, back. You Go feel ahead. better. You feel better. Oh, well, now. I feel better. I feel okay. fine. I'm, okay. you know, sick is just mentally in the mind. True. Right. That's true. You can get rid of it. Yeah. I got put rid it, of it. Put it out there. We'll be right back. Make us live with Nina. <laughs> If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nina.